Right, here's question 2 in thermal expansion. The figure below shows a stick uh, made up of an aluminium rod and a copper rod which have the same length and cross-sectional area. Okay, it is heated from 20 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. The coefficient of linear expansion for aluminium and copper are 2.5 exponent negative 5 and 1.7 exponent negative 5 respectively. Okay, find the ratio of expansion of, uh, to, of the aluminium rod to the expansion of copper rod at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I want to find a ratio between these two expansions. Okay, the aluminium rod and the copper rod. So, okay, I have a yeah, joint rod, aluminium with copper. And it is noted that these two rods have the same length. Okay, they have the same length and the same cross-sectional area. Okay, uh, so yeah, I have uh, uh, put in two columns, the aluminium and the copper. Okay, their length is the same, L1 equal to L2. Okay. Uh, the aluminium I set as uh, number 1 and copper I set as number 2. So L1 equal to L2, same length. Uh, cross-sectional area 1 equal to cross-sectional area 2. Okay. Uh, now, heated from 20 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. So that means this 20 is the initial temperature and 100 is the final temperature. Okay. Uh, coefficient of linear expansion. Okay, this is the alpha. So, uh, aluminium, okay, is 2.5. So, that means aluminium, alpha 1, 2.5. And the copper is uh, alpha 2. Uh, alpha 2 is uh, 1.7. Okay, alpha 2 is 1.7. Uh, so, I, you know, when I have two objects, I always separate into two columns. Yeah? And then you can see your data systematically. Okay. So now, uh, heated from 20 to 100. That means uh, 20 is the initial temperature and 100 is the final temperature. Okay. Uh, heated. Uh, okay. From 20 to 100. Initial temperature 20, final is 100. Okay. So I want to find the expansion for both rod. Uh, and then find the ratio. Uh, that means... Uh, ratio between uh, expansion of aluminium over expansion of copper. Uh, that means delta L1 over delta L2, the, the ratio. So I just apply the formula for the delta L, the expansion, which is equal to alpha L0 delta T. Uh, okay, so the, yeah. The number one is the aluminium. So the top one is aluminium. Expansion for aluminium. The bottom one, delta L2, is the expansion for copper. Okay, uh, expansion for copper. So, um, yeah, so I just put in the value for alpha. Okay, so alpha, I have alpha 1 and alpha 2. Uh, initial length is the same, L1 equal to L2, so I can cut off the initial length. Yeah, they have the same initial length. Uh, and then the, um, yeah, also the change in temperature is the same, right? Am I? I put in the uh, alpha. Okay, alpha for aluminium is uh, 2.5 exponent negative 5. And change of temperature is 100 minus 20 okay the final minus initial temperature remember the change of temperature is the final minus initial temperature uh, so final is 100 initial is 20 so 100 minus 20 okay divided by the copper uh, 1.7 exponent yeah this 1.7 exponent negative 5 that is the alpha for copper and uh, the change in temperature also 100 minus 20. Uh, so I actually their change of temperature is the same, isn't it? The change of temperature is the same. Um, and then the exponent negative five can be cut off. Okay. So so what's the answer for their ratio? 
I got a 1.47. That's the ratio of the expansion. Uh, 1.47. Okay. So from here you can see which one expand faster. Uh, uh, this is this is the answer for A. Uh, yeah, 1.47. So which one expand faster? Which one expand more? Okay. So look at this 1.47. So delta L1 is actually equal to 1.47 times delta L2. I just multiply the delta L2 to the top. So that means uh, this is the this is for the one is for the aluminium. Okay, this is the aluminium, and this one is for the copper. So that means the expansion for aluminium. Is 1.47 uh, more than uh, copper. Uh, that means, uh, or I can say, um, um, uh, the aluminium expand 47% more, yeah, longer than the copper. Uh, so aluminium expand more, yeah. Uh, from this ratio, I can see um, aluminium expand more. Okay, this one aluminium expands, expands more. Uh, copper expand less. Okay, the expansion of aluminium is one point four seven. Uh, yeah, or forty seven percent more than the expansion of copper. Uh, so which direction will the stick bend? Justify your answer. So the stick will bend in the direction uh, downward. I can say is uh, it will bend. Okay, I can say it, it. Finally, it will looks like this. Yeah, at hundred degrees Celsius, uh, it will bend this way. Uh, the top one is the aluminium, and the bottom is the copper. Uh, okay, uh, it will bend this way because. Uh, aluminium expands more. Okay, uh, so I can say this one. Uh, it, the 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 stick will bend downwards. Uh, the the stick will bend downwards because uh, the aluminium expands uh, more than copper. At uh, 100 degrees Celsius, it expands more. Yeah? From, from the ratio, we can see uh, more than one. That means aluminium expands more yeah? than copper. Okay, um, now give one application of such a stick. So, such a stick, aluminium with copper, where can we see? Where can we see this such stick? Yeah, normally we use this at the thermostat. We use as a thermostat. Uh, what is thermostat? Uh, normally we can see thermostat in the water heater or the iron, you know. Uh, like for example, you boil the water. You boil the water. If the water is already boiling at 100 degrees Celsius, uh, this thermostat will bend. Nah? Will bend in such a direction. Uh, because the uh, aluminium expands more than the copper at the 100 degrees Celsius. So the thermostat will bend. So this thermostat will become like an automatic switch. Yeah? When the thermostat bend, uh, then the circuit is being cut off. The circuit is being cut off. Uh, so the circuit has no more current. Yeah? The current is no more flowing. So the heater has cut off the power. So no more boiling the water. Yeah, no more boiling the water when the water reaches 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, so uh, from here, I can say that uh, the aluminium should be at the bottom. Okay, uh, because uh, aluminium expand more, aluminium should be at the bottom. The copper should be at the top. Uh, because aluminium expands more. Yeah, from the actually from the alpha, we already can see aluminium has a bigger alpha. Copper has a smaller alpha. 
uh, smaller alpha. So when bigger alpha, of course, aluminium will expand more. Uh, copper has smaller alpha, you will expand less. Okay, uh, given the same the same changes of temperature. Okay. So that's it for this question. Okay. So thank you for watching. Okay, see you.